With our data imported into the database, we can start exploring some of the SQL statements we can integrate with MySQLi to perform different tasks. We'll start off with the SELECT statement. We've worked with this one before in PHP MyAdmin. The SELECT statement will retrieve data from the database. First, create and save a new PHP file in your text editor. We've named ours SELECT.PHP. Establish a connection to the My Website database as we did in the last lesson. Next, we need to create our SQL statement. Here, we've set the SQL statement to select the ID, first name, last name, and email columns from the users table. We then execute the SQL query and put the resulting data into a variable called result. The following if statement checks to make sure there are more than zero rows. If there are zero rows, it means there is no data relevant to our query, in which case the words zero results will be outputted. If there are more than zero rows, this function will put all the results in an associative array that we can loop through. The while loop loops through the result set and outputs the data from the columns we specified in the select statement. So ID, first name, last name, email, and date. The output is done through a basic echo statement. So you can see that we have our echo statement and an item label and then the data next to it. You can see the result in your web browser by loading this page using the localhost URL. So you can see we have the ID, and then that's the data from the database. We have the name label, and then the first and last name from the database, and the email. And so it loops through every single one and outputs all the data from the database. 